Hello and welcome, I am the Sterling and today we are playing Going Medieval. Since the last episode, the game has had a pretty big update, introducing a few new features such as fishing as a job. Settlers will now not only be passionate about certain jobs, they'll also dislike jobs as well. There are specialty roles such as Bard, Chaplain and Druid, and we can now schedule time for our settlers to attend to these roles. We can now also hold events such as sermons or even feasts where we can plan out the feast, what they're going to eat, everything like that. Which is pretty cool. There's also a whole bunch of new items now that we can actually research and build, which that is really exciting. But we're just going to have to move right along and ignore all that today. As in the last episode, we built the wall surrounding the location where we will build the Restitutionist Temple. And now we are ready to begin construction. And guess what? That's exactly what we're going to do this episode. So sit back, grab a cold one, and let's get started. So first things first, we're going to plan out the pond. Which, guess what? That's going to involve a lot more digging. And there we go. That there is the outline for the Restitutionist Temple. It should be 17 by 17. 17 by 17. Perfect. Now it's just a matter of digging all this out here. Perfect. Now let's let them get to work. Fantastic. That's now the first layer of the temple pond done. As you saw in certain areas, I've already dug down to the second layer and built a wall in preparation for what comes next. And there we go. That's the next layer all planned out. So let's hit play and let them get on with it.
And here we go, we're being raided. I've had a quick look. We're lucky, no trebuchets. But if there was a trebuchet, we've planned for this because this is the marker where we did our little trebuchet fire drill a few episodes ago. So we know we can get here nice and quick if there was trebuchets. But regardless, there ain't any. Though there seems to be quite a few archers. But across the board, doesn't look like this is anything that's going to be any sort of issue for us. And here they come. Well, one. The rest seem to have taken the sneaky route into the TITS. And, well, that was a quick kill. They got down into the TITS a little too easy. I don't think I've put a gate here. I might have to check that after this fight. Because look, they're all just running straight down into the TITS. This might be a little bit of an issue. Yeah, that's a lot of blokes waiting to get in, isn't it? We better get prepared for when they actually do break through this gate, if they do. So what I'll do is I'll chuck Alexandra here at the gate, so when they do climb up the ladder, we can do pokey pokey through the door, and then we'll just chuck a couple either side of the windows here. There you go. That way, as they come up the ladder, we can just stab them through the windows and the door. But let's see if they can actually get through. Well, they're not doing too much damage, to be honest. You got 300 hit points on this door. Given enough time, they will break through. But whether they're going to be able to do it this fight or whether the battle will time out is the question. Well, that was a big hit. That just dropped down to 222 and 218. Yeah, they might get through. And we're victorious. So they never got through the gate, which is very lucky. But once again... We've seen some shortfalls of Castle Serlington, which is perhaps maybe we need to put a gate on the TITS. There really should be one. I don't know why there wasn't. So now, yep, they're just going to nick off. Okay, fantastic. I'll have to get someone down here to repair that. But was there a gate all the way over here? This is the question. No, it doesn't look like we did have one. There should be one. Well, there will be one there now. Well, that was a nice, easy victory anyway. I can undraft everyone, because we got lots of digging and stuff to get back to. I suspect part of the reason why now they are using things such as the moat and the TITS tunnel is purely because we no longer have the priors out the front here. Once upon a time, we used to have five or six of them. And so it would encourage and entice the enemy to come and fight us at the front gate, where we could then pick them off. I no longer felt the need to have the priors out the front. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I do need to build a couple out there just to get them to start coming back to the front gate. I don't know. Fantastic. That is now the pond completely dug and the walls surrounding it finished. Now we just have to put a floor on it. Done. Now, we're going to go through and put the extra little bits and pieces on this bottom floor here before we fill this full of water to make it a little bit easier. What we're going to do is we're going to use clay brick walls and we're going to go one, two up like so. Then we're going to encase the corners and this corner here too. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Now they can start building that. In the meantime, we're going to start building the trench that's going to run across here. This trench will run very similar to this one here that feeds our aqueduct. It's just a means to get the water into this part of the castle. If you've noticed, there's no ladders down here. So how are they entering this area to build all this? I've built a drain right here that the settlers can enter while there's no water. Once there's water, this is how the water won't overflow in the castle. In trial runs of building this, more than once I flooded the entire castle. It looked like a giant swimming pool. So I've made sure to dig this drainage before anything else. I'm not making that same mistake. But for the meantime, it makes a great entrance to the temple to fix and build everything downstairs. Now, while we're waiting for them to dig this trench and build everything inside the temple area, we may as well build the mini little aqueduct we're gonna have here. Done. Looks like it will be difficult for them to reach. I'm going to have to play silly buggers and make some ladders and etc. to try and get them up there. Oh, here we go, another raid. Once again, no trebuchets. But we got a couple of armoured here, a few with bows and arrows. And it's an interesting place that they've spawned. I think we're just lucky that they can't actually enter this part of the castle here because they could just come through this gate. Then again, if they go into here, there's not really much they can do. But this is a dangerous position right now as their archers can come and stand right here and pick off our people who are just here. So we're going to have to grab them, draft them and get them out of this area straight away. Everybody in here for the moment is just going to have to stay here. Only because I just can't risk them coming out through this door and getting picked off while they're unprotected. Now, I've waited long enough for them to get far enough away that we can sneak out the door here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, they're far enough away and they won't turn around and come back. But it looks like we've gotten away. Not having any form of a ladder in there or any way to get up from the water might have been a little bit of a, another one of our little oversights, eh? And look at this. All straight into the TITS. Ah, this is meant to be for us to use, not for them. Sadly, I might end up having to block these. They're, they're no good to us if we can't use them. Either that or I could fill them full of traps. That would be an idea. They just run all the way through, dead by the time they get to the other end. Well, I guess this is just going to be the old case of waiting out the clock. We'll get victory, replace a few gates, and then we can get back to digging. There we go. They're through the first gate. And here they come on their way to our second gate. At the moment, there's not really much point to us being drafted. We should undraft. And there we go, victory. No one got hurt. There was no fight. Just a waste of our time. I now really need to consider whether or not the TITS is something that we're going to use or whether we're just going to have to close it up. That's two in a row now that have just gone straight down through the tunnel. Either that or I've got to come up with a better way of defending it. It does do the trick, nobody's getting in, but it's just a waste of our time. And there we have it. Stage one of the temple is now complete. The floor of the pond is in. Both the outer walls and the lower temple walls are in. We've dug the canal and we've built the little mini aqueduct. So we are now ready to go on to stage two. Though that will have to wait as this is all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.